Hi, oh, yeah, this is the first video for the first lesson of the graphs in inequalities and cubics lesson. It's only worth two lessons. There's a self-study part, which hopefully will be filled in on the completed pack. So yeah, so you can just it's just about how you draw straight lines. So I'll try to remember to ask you to do that as well before we do it. But this is the first lesson. Lesson one. So it says, let me get my bit, it says questions should specify whether to shade the region you want or the region you don't want, or if not, at least make it clear. So it's a little bit of ambiguity for us. We tend to shade the stuff we don't want, so we have a clear bit of the bit that we do want. So that's our idea. So if it's got an equals on it, I use a solid line, but if it hasn't got equals on it, I use a dashed line, which will make sense when we actually do one. So the first bit, the, the self-study part, asked you to draw straight lines. So what I'm looking at here is the line y equals 2x plus 6. So I know when x is 0, y is 6. So I know 0, 6 is a point. And if I put y is 0, I get 0 is 2x plus 6, so minus 3 is x. So I've got minus 3, 0. So I've got two points. I've got 0, 6, and minus 3, 0. So I've got to try and draw. I've got, what I would do is put the two dots on, but then try and draw a line through it, which you can do easily, but I can't. Because it's a, a less than, I'm going to use a dashed line. So I want a dashed line. In that way, so that there would be minus three, and that there would be six. You're going to use a ruler, right? So now I've done that, I've drawn the line, so I've drawn a line, and now I'm going to identify the region. Now, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade the bit that I don't want there. Now I can try it, I can test with a value to see if I want it or not. So if I look at the origin, 0, 0, if I put that into the inequality that I've got, it'll be 0 is less than 2 lots of 0 plus 6. So 0 is less than 6. And that makes sense, that, that 0 is less than 6. So this point here is one that I want. So because of that, the 0, 6 is in the bit that I want. So that tells me then to shade the bit that I don't want. And it's not an art class. So all I do is just put some lines in like that. If I try and do some form of block shading, if I need to pick numbers that are in the outside of the region, I'm stuffed. Now what I can do is use a nice big R to show the region I want. So there's a question for you there, which you can either do in class or, or do now. So let's have a look at this. Oh my God, let's look at this one. So this one's got three of them. So y is greater than zero. So that's okay, because what that would look like, that's just the x-axis. So I want above the x-axis, so that part would be like that. So my y is greater than zero. It's not ideal, because I need to try and show a dotted line on the x-axis. Or a dashed line, whatever you want to call it. Because y is greater than 0, I know I want to get rid of the bit that's below it. Right, so let's have a look at this one. The y plus 3x is 8. If I use the cover-up method, so if I physically cover up the x, so if x is 0, it gives me y is 8. So I know I've got 0, 8. If I cover up the y bit, so I've got y is 0, I've got 3x is 8, so x is 8 over 3. So that gives me 8 over 3, comma 0. Because it's less than or equal to, I know it's a solid line. So I've got a solid line going through, I'm going to change colour, we'll do this in red, this one. A solid line going through 8 and 3, 8 over 3, sorry. So that's like a line going like that direction. So that would be the 8, and that would be the 8 over 3, there. Now it's always good, you're going to use a ruler, aren't you? 
It's always good to write down, to identify which line is which. Whoops. There. So move it up a little bit more. <clears throat> right, so now I've got to decide if 0, 0 is in the bit that I want. So if I look at 0, 0 for this one, I've got 0 plus 3 lots of 0 is less than or equal to 8. So 0 is less than or equal to 8. So that's wonderful. So 0, 0 is in, which means that all this bit is out. got another one which I'll do in green. So I've got y minus 2x is less than. So that's going to be a dotted line, a dashed line, sorry, not dotted. So if I look at that one, if x is 0, y is 4. And if y is 0, if I do the rearrange, I've got minus 2x is 4. So x is minus 2. So I want a dotted line that goes through 4, so it's going to be there, and minus 2. So it's a dotted line, a dashed line, sorry, not a dotted line, there. So there's my dashed line. So that is y plus 3x is less than or equal to 8. Uh, no, it's not. Ah! It's y minus 2x is less than 4. I'm going to check the 0, 0 point. So if I try 0, 0, I've got 0 minus 2 lots of 0 is less than 4. 0 is less than 4. So 0, 0 I want, so the other bit, a shade to get rid of it. There. And if you look, I've got like a nice little triangular region there. which I'm going to call R. It's not the easiest to do, so I'm trying to work out what I want. Just going to sneeze. Hang on, I'm pausing. There's another question for you. I'm just going to sneeze again. Hang on. There. I'm having a sneezing first. It's not the best. Um, there's another question for you, so you can do it in class or I'll do it now. Let's have a look at some consolidation questions. So it's a nice place to stop. Bye-bye.